couple of days ago, uh, I did an experiment. Um, you can see the video online. Um, to see if I could harden this coil spring. And I tried quenching it at three different temperatures into oil. Um, didn't really get much hardness at all uh, above just leaving it out to cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take um, the same experiment but run it with, uh, with water quenching. Um, I've done a little bit of reading online, uh, asked on some of the forums for some advice, so I'm going to take that into account today and, uh, and see if we can redeem this piece of, uh, of Sienna coil spring. Um, so fire up the forge and, and, and give it a go. Uh, and of course I need some water. So, let's get going. So just an add-on to the uh, previous video where I, uh, I, I hit these with a hammer and cracked them to uh, potentially prove hardness. What you notice is that every single one of them broke where I'd stamped them. The one, two, three, they all broke where the stamp was. And the stamp was made when the metal was hot. The, um, the, the, the control piece, which was unquenched, didn't break. But of course, that was number zero and uh, didn't have a stamp. So I wonder if that, uh, that made any difference. Uh, what I'll try and do today is uh, is not stamp them in a, a critical spot. So here we have two pieces of coil spring that have been quenched in water instead of oil, like I did in the last video. Um, I got some advice. I uh, I worked them about an inch wide, uh, maybe an eighth thick and I did them at two different temperatures uh, this one was immediately out of the forge and in fact no this one was immediately out of the forge this one I did um, at a slightly lower temperature so we'll probably do this one first so the first thing is secure this in the rice Hopefully this vice, it's a swivel vice and hopefully it's locked in place. Maybe I should just check that before we, uh, we get too serious. And, uh, okay. Hopefully that's not going anywhere. Face mask for this experiment. I like to live dangerously, but not that dangerously. So, something breakable over here. Let's just see. That snapped clean through. No problem. I guess that means somewhat admirable. Have we gone this one? This was quenched at an even higher temperature. I'm going to tap it a little lighter with a smaller hammer. Let's see what happens. And again this is untempered. And there we go. Right straight off. Let me take this off now. Hear what I'm saying? Wow. I don't know how well we can focus in on this, but uh, some some rather interesting brain structure. So got three. So if we look here, this is a piece from the. Uh, the test piece that I uh, quenched straight out of the forge, um, incredibly hot, and uh, you can see it's ready to just crumble apart. It's incredibly brittle. 
Um, does brittle mean hardness? Not quite the same property, but uh, somewhat of an indication. You see, it's this uh, it's very coarse, it's very coarse grain that we have in this one. If we take a look at this one, um, it's a much finer grain. Doesn't glisten. It's not quite as glittery as um, as the other piece. This is at a, a slightly lower temperature. Um, still quite hard, but uh, junk steel, or certainly this junk steel, needs to be water quenched. Um, I'm just gonna get a file and run the file on this and see. This was the super heat treated. And uh, hmm. well, it still bites a little, but uh, not much better than the, the oil treated. So there was, there was something to be had here, uh, something to be said for the um, for the water quench. What this now means is that I have to go in with. Uh, my knife. This is the knife I made um, using the coil spring and uh, I couldn't get a good edge on it. So what I'm now going to do is um, I'm going to duplicate the, the heat treat um, on this blade, quench it and obviously <laughs> temper it before I uh, I try and use it. Certainly won't be hitting it with the uh, with the hammer.